Our meetings. Hey, you know, the Internet's become an intricate part of our lives. Uh, it's important to stay connected, to pay our bills, but getting good Internet at some of the marinas can be difficult. So a good Wi-Fi extender or booster would be important. Well, Alpha Network Inc. happens to make a Wi-Fi extender, and they sent me this one to review, use, and keep. It's the uh, their, their latest one, the Camp Pro 2V2, and we're going to set this up, the hardware and the software, and let's see how well this works. All right, let's just see what we got here, guys. I'm excited to try this out. One of my boat neighbors has one and he said it's working really good for him. So, let's see what we... Well, here's what came in the box. Uh, the router, the antenna for it, and then you have a DC power cord for it or an AC power cord. Uh, we've got some waterproof tape, and I think that's going to go on the outside antenna that we hook up here. And then our um, USB cable, which plugs into this and gets run into the router. We've got some wire ties, and then to set the whole thing up, uh, through the internet to start with, we have our uh, Ethernet uh, cable. And of course the instruction manual. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few minutes and go through this, check where I'm going to put everything, and then we'll come back and we'll install the hardware and the software. Well, I looked through the instruction sheet here, and it looks like it's going to be a pretty easy setup. Um, but let's do the hardware first. One of the things that I think is important to try and get this receiving antenna as high as you can. So I measured this uh, cable, and it's about 26 feet or 25 feet. So it's going to make it to where I want to go out, out on the uh, stern. So let's put this together first. Well, this. Just screws in. Oops. There we go. That's nice and tight. Now to hook this USB cable up, we'll get the correct side here. Okay. So we're going to remove the bottom locking ring. And then here's the USB holding plate. Keep the cable secure. The rubber gasket, waterproof gasket, and split. So we take that out. So the first thing we're going to do is insert our USB cable through this into the locking ring right, see right below here. So it's nice and tight. See how we have that in here? Okay, nice and secure. Now we plug it in. Bring our locking plate in place. Here we are. 
Now, this is where the waterproof tape comes in, I think. Then take this and I'm going to wrap some of it around this, the antenna and the body. Only needs a couple of wraps. And although this has a seal ring, they do give you the waterproof tape. So we might as well use that and help make this a little bit more watertight. go out and hook this on to my back stay and run this cable in through the boat before it gets too hot out. Well now for mounting the uh, router inside, I think I'm going to put it here and although I have a DC plug up here I may put a second one in and then run this DC power cable through here and come out here on the bottom so I don't have cables all over and the same thing with um, uh, the cable going to the outside antenna I can run that up through this box and the Ethernet cable then we need this when we first set up or if you go to other marinas you may need it but you can also uh, get new networks through by using your phone via Wi-Fi so I think this setup is going to work pretty good for me try it out if it doesn't work we can always change it now we're ready to set up the software and in the instructions it tells us we go to alpha dot my alpha setup dot com this is the first screen you'll come to, and you'll enter an administrative password. Now, I've got one already. Oops. And this is different than what you're going to use to log into your um, Wi-Fi adapters. Oh, and also, be sure that you have your Ethernet uh, cable plugged into the router and into the computer. So now this is the first screen you'll come to. Now you can either click on your um, internet uh, settings icon or hotspot settings. Now you see I've already got one set up here, but if we want to add one, we're just going to hit this little plus sign. And now it's scanning for all the um, Wi-Fi around the area. And this could take a couple minutes. Now here's all the different hot spots at North Point. You see they've got a lot of them. So let's just pick one. We'll, we'll pick this one because I've already got this one picked. So we'll hit this. Hit select. Now in here, this is where you're going to put the marina uh, access uh, password now if it's not password protected you won't see that come on down and we'll name this one you can hear network name I'm going to name this one North Alpha North Point Marina three and now you this is your password to secure your router inside your boat 
and that's different than your administrative password. We hit finish. And again, this may take a moment. Now up here, it'll say connected. If that failed, it'll say unconnected or not connected. So we want to make sure that we're connected here. So now to hook up to the um, Marina Wi-Fi, we're going to click on our Internet Access little tab. You'll see we have all the ones that are available here. And the one that we created, Alpha North Point Marina 3, click that on, hit Connect. Now I've already entered it, but it'll ask for your password, and that's the one that you set up when you connected to the uh, North Point Marina or to whatever Wi-Fi you're on. Well, all right, guys. Now, once you get hooked up, you can remove the um, Ethernet uh, cable, and you really won't need that again. You may need it when you go to another marina uh, to hook things up, or you can do it off your phone or tablet with the Wi-Fi. If you have a uh, QR code reader, just scan the QR code here. It'll take you to the website. You can set things up from there. And that's all there is to it. Now we're ready to go. Let's test the speed of this. But this was a very easy process and when you look at the speed test that we just did wow I was I was blown away by that I mean this thing has really made a big difference in the internet connection and the stability of things it's worth a shot I tell you what this I'm very happy with this stay tuned though I'll keep you updated on it I think it's gonna work out really great but until next time happy and safe boating to you, your family, and friends. Stay connected.